Hi, I'm Nestle Han. I spend most of my time with birds, especially the pigeons, to understand the link between their brain and the behavior. And for the first two years of my PhD, I did many manual observations and filled many notebooks with their behaviors. And started to explore open source software. Along the way, I met many people in the open source community. And even though like we didn't share the same educational background, I received huge amount of support to solve my technical problems. And this is one of the most uh, charming features of an, an open source community. In my opinion, this diversity um, brings a solution instead of the chaos. Hi, I'm Sofia. I'm a final year PhD student investigating visual attention in hawks. They both rely on transparency as a basis for trust, on the idea of continuous improvement and on collaborative work. I particularly like this collaborative aspect. Coming from an interdisciplinary field, I have seen how scientific projects are enriched by diverse perspectives. I also find hands-on collaborative work can be a great learning experience. I have benefited loads from the learning communities that pop up around open source projects. Open source software has improved my research and now I am keen to learn more. My name is Jonas and I would love to take part in the DLC AI residency. And the reason I think open source software is important is for two reasons. And the first one is that I think we're all better served if we allow a bigger and wider group of people to contribute to important types of technology and knowledge. I've become sort of the go-to person in my lab in, in my wider group of collaborators when it comes to getting DLC to work for specifically tracking wing kinematics of bats but I've also used it to track the movement of uh, wind turbine rotors and uh, vocal membranes. And I believe that if I took part in this uh, AI residency, I think I could be the go-to DLC person for a wider group of bat researchers and animal flight researchers. Hello, my name is Nirao, applying for the 2022 program. And um, here are the reasons why I'm excited to contribute to open source software ability to be part of the community that is creating solutions that are to be used from generation to generation in tracking and animal conservation and even in the education I've been trained students all around Kenya in different communities in high school and in primary school on, on skills related to STEM. Being an educator has been impactful and empowering and from this program I'd as well like to empower and contribute to empower the students to create, to be developers as well. Hello, my name is Sabrina and I'm from Argentina. My career has been due to an amazing community that is always trying to teach and help others to solve their problems with open source tools. I just love it and now I feel like I can be the one who encourages others in the same way that they have worked for me. I am happy to see that thanks to the effort to this community that I belong to, the open source technology is becoming the gold standard in many fields. As an orphan of Asia immigrant and sexual minority growing up in New Zealand, I have firsthand experienced the challenges of racism and homophobia. This in part shaped my motivation to empower marginalized minorities that led to my PhD at a minority serving institution studying sexual diversity from a sexual behavior perspective. The software makes it economically accessible to those underrepresented and can actively contribute to bending its arc towards justice.